How's it going everyone? This is Liam here from Bobtail Entertainment. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to properly install LibriPods on a, in a boot Ubuntu slash Debian based uh, Linux distro. So if you haven't heard about the project, it's essentially a um, it's, it's an app that allo allows you to use uh, AirPod features like transparency mode and like um, ear detection, all that. It's my mouse keep teleporting over there. Um, and so that like you won't have to use like an iPhone or Mac or whatever. And you can have all those features on um, on Android and Linux. So and I was actually kind of surprised there's nobody else has actually done a tutorial to do on how to do this. So I know it's kind of different from my other content, but I figured I might as well give it a go. Um, so the device compatibility, so the AirPods Pro second gen, it works well. Um, that's the kind I have, the third gen. Um, that works well except for the heart rate. AirPods Max, fully supported. The other AirPod mo models, you only get the basic fe features, but um, other than that... Um, Let's get right into it. So, what I'm gonna do? So I have this text file right here. Um, I will put all the commands down in the description below, and um, you're just essentially gonna just copy and paste them right into terminal. So, like you would um, just do sudo apt update to update your repositories and then you're going to install git so then you can get the um get libripods from github and then you're going to what it's going to do is it's going to download the file and then um it's going to be in your home directory and then you're going to want to change your directory to um, libripods and then linux within that within that directory and then you're going to go ahead and go sudo apt install and then you're going to install these and what this is it's um, certain dependencies that and tools in order to build libripods because as of right now the latest version does not have an app image that's been built so you will have to do it on your own um and then uh you go ahead and you run these commands and then once once it's the process is finished um you can go ahead and uh copy this command in order to launch LibriPods. now if you're wondering where this is you can go into files and make sure you're on your home directory and then you're going to find a folder called LibriPods. you're going to go in there you're going to go to the file folder that says Linux and then you're going to go to build and then you're going to see right here LibriPods. Now I already have this installed um, but you should see this. Now um, if you were to run that command, this command right here, that will like um, open the program but if you were to say close it out you're like crap I got to get back to it. Um, you can go into this directory right here and then you should find it. Um, and then um, what you can actually do, and I actually have it open right now, you can go in here, um, you can go to settings, and then you can actually, if you like, you can click auto start on login so you don't always have to navigate to that directory whenever you want to try to use LibriPods. Um, I guess you could probably figure out a way to make a shortcut to the executable as well, but I haven't done that. Um, but other than that, um, that should, um, you should be good. As a side note here, you're probably wondering why I have this app image right here. Um, this is actually the old version. This is the last version that they had an app image built for. So I think it was like... It's a close version to the newer one, but it's um, off by a few revisions. So um, the interface, it definitely, it's not as sleek as the newer version. Um, 
So just there as a side note if y'all are wondering. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like, comment down below if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, and subscribe if you enjoyed it as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.